going to be looking at three different ratios that you would use when you have a right angle triangle. But you need to know how to label your triangle, the different sides of a triangle, okay? Which side is always referred to as a hypotenuse in a right angle triangle? Hypotenuse is always located across from the right angle. In relation to the right angle, the hypotenuse is always opposite. Depending which angle I'm referring to, so for example, if I'm referring to this angle here, which side of the triangle do you think would be called the opposite side length? Opposite to this angle. Okay, so this side here is located opposite the angle. And this side length does not touch the angle at all. It's opposite from the angle. The last side of the triangle is referred to as the adjacent side. So I'll write that down and then we'll discuss what that means. Adjacent side means that if it's adjacent to this angle, it's lying next to this angle. It's touching this angle. Okay, so next to. It's right next to the angle that we're referring to. It actually forms one of the legs of the angle. It's adjacent to this angle. Which side of this triangle it would be labeled the hypotenuse? This right angle here, this is, I'm just going to put HYP for short. It's opposite the right angle. That's the hypotenuse. If I am referring to this angle, in relation to this angle indicated, which side would be the opposite side length? Okay, so in relation to this angle, this side here is the opposite side length. So therefore, the remaining side length would be referred to as what? The adjacent side. And I'm just going to put ADJ for short. So we have our hypotenuse, the adjacent side length in relation to this angle, and our opposite side length. This triangle in relation to this angle. This is the angle indicated. I want you to label which side's the hypotenuse, which side's the opposite, and which one is the adjacent side length. In relation to this angle, which side is opposite? This side now becomes the opposite. This is the adjacent, and the hypotenuse never changes. The hypotenuse is always located across from the right angle. But it depends on which angle you're referring to to label your adjacent and opposite sides, okay? There's three primary trig ratios, and the first ratio is the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. This acronym reminds you what ratios to use. Ratio refers to the opposite side length over the hypotenuse. Remember, you can write a ratio as a fraction. So when you have your triangle, you're going to take the opposite side length and the hypotenuse, and that will give you the sine ratio. Cosine ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse. The tangent ratio is equal to the opposite side length over the adjacent side. We're given an angle of 18 degrees, so we're referring to this angle. How would I label the two sides of the triangle? This is the rise and this is the run. Would this side be hypotenuse, opposite, or adjacent? In relation to this angle, this, is, this side is opposite and this side would be adjacent because it's touching the angle. So we're working with opposite and adjacent. Which ratio um, uses the opposite and the adjacent side lengths? Which ratio? This one has opposite and hypotenuse adjacent and hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent, good. So we're looking at the tan ratio. Okay, I'm going to use sine or cosine because I don't need to know about the hypotenuse right now. We're referring to opposite and adjacent. So I need to know the ratio of, the, of tangent. Well, I know that tan, 18 degrees, that's the angle that's indicated, is equal to opposite over adjacent. All you need to do is plug this into your calculator and you'll get the ratio. 110, 18, the ratio is 0 0.3249 rounded to four decimal places. So it's approximately equal to this. This is the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent side length. Look at angle B. So if I'm referring to this angle, 23 degrees, which side is opposite? What letter? Good. And this is the 
hypotenuse or adjacent side to this angle? This is the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse. We're going to write down all three trig ratios for this one. So we're going to use sine, cos, and tan. Okay, we're just going to get used to practicing how to label our triangle and how to figure out the ratios. So let's do the first one, sine. What is the sine ratio? In relation to this angle, so we're going to write sine 23 degrees, because we have the angle, is opposite, right, opposite, so B, over what? Hypotenuse is C. What is the ratio equal to? Type this in on your calculator, sine 23 degrees. Get yeah, approximately equal to 0 0.3907 for the sine ratio. Still referring to this angle, what would the cosine ratio be? So cosine is equal to adjacent, which side's adjacent? Still referring to the same angle. A over, which side's the hypotenuse? C, good. What is this ratio approximately equal to? It's approximately equal to 0 0.9205. We're going to look at the last ratio, the tangent ratio. Again, we're still referring to angle B. What is the tangent ratio equal to? Opposite B over adjacent A. Good. So it's approximately equal to 0 0.4245. And those are the three ratios that are related to this angle here. You use the trig ratios in order to solve right triangles. Okay, so this is a right triangle and I'm asked to solve it. In order to solve this, what do I need to find? What's unknown? X. I need to find X. I need to solve this by finding X. Well, first we need to look at which angle is indicated. 35 degrees. And we're going to label our triangle with three side lengths. We have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So we're going to label the three sides of the triangle. We need to figure out which ratio to use. Well, we know that we're working with, we have the hypotenuse and I need to know the adjacent side length. Which ratio uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Good, the cosine ratio. So we're gonna use the cosine ratio. I don't know the opposite side length and I don't need to find it, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Cos 35 degrees is equal to, well we know it's gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos 35 degrees equals, we don't know the adjacent, so we're going to call that x, over, what's the hypotenuse? 18. Okay, one way to do this is to cross multiply. If I put anything over 1, it does not change the, the value, so we're just going to cross multiply. I'm going to multiply this times this, and this times this. What's 1 times x? And we're going to multiply cos 35 degrees times 18. And you can do that on your calculator. This is approximately equal to 15 centimeters. So this side length is approximately 15 centimeters. Does that make sense? Look at the dimensions given. It's reasonable.